Ibanez Takeover Day here at Anderson's TV, where we're looking at all the new stuff from 2021. And we're getting jazzy now. Yeah, I'm getting jazzy. Jazztastic. Jazztastic. Uh, a lot of people, I think, think of Ibanez, particularly maybe players that are more familiar with more modern styles of guitar. You know, you're going to see lots of rock and metal players playing them. Maybe more recently, some more fusion-y kind of players. But, you know, I think everybody thinks of Steve Vai and Joe Satriani when they think yeah. of Ibanez guys. Yeah. But before them were George Benson, John Schofield, Pat Metheny, yeah. uh, real giants of the jazz scene. And back in the 70s, um, Ibanez, uh, Ibanez back in Japan really felt like there was an opportunity to uh, take on Gibson at you know making these kind of semi-acoustic style guitars aimed probably at that time more at a jazz player rather than yeah you know a sort of a rock and roll kind of player and perhaps Gibson had a little bit of a uh, sort of they were having a wobble in the seventies the the same their as Fender and, and a lot of American yeah, brands. yeah it wasn't doing really well so um, but they brought so they brought out that in nineteen seventy eight uh, which is now called the two thousand series it was yep. the two hundred so that's the AS so we've got three shapes here yeah. AS which is a uh, very much you know, a la a 335, so a center block down the middle here, semi hollow either side, two humbuckers, you know, that kind of vibe. Yeah. Uh, an AM, which is um, a, a much smaller, there you go, there's a sort of a comparison, a much smaller body shape. Like 339 style. Uh, Even smaller still, I would say, than 339. I feel a comparison um, coming on. It almost reminds me of like a, a, a shallow version of like a Howard Roberts Fusion or something like that. Ooh, you're throwing out all these names, um, and then, of course, you've got the much bigger, the sort of the traditional jazz box style two humbucker, completely yeah. hollow guitar. But it, still, interestingly, this is sorry. completely hollow as well. So that's yeah. where it would be quite different to like a 339. Yes, true. Anyway. But interestingly, this is, you know, you would, this is a slimmer body than like a lot a, of the other, like, like a, a 175, for instance. Yeah. So it actually sits a bit nicer on your... Yeah. On your uh, on your person. Yeah. As it were. So tonally speaking, uh, there there are some similarities in the construction of, of all these guitars. So like an African hardwood kind of bodies, uh, Super Fifty Eight Ibanez designed Super Fifty Eight sort of medium output Alnico humbuckers. I'm, yeah. I'm sort of guessing, or well, not guessing. I'm feeling like a vintage yeah. you know, PAF so sort of vibe to it. Fantastic tuners. Oh yeah, they're um, beautiful. They just feel so good. I mean, are these good. Ibanez so own brand? It says 510 on them, but it's... But, I mean, literally just, they feel super so nice to, 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 to yeah, play. Yeah, they're lovely. Um, Three-piece maple uh, roasted neck here as well. <sighs> mahogany maple neck, so you've got... I don't know if you can oh, see, see that on yeah, the camera. Oh, I see, yeah, mahogany on the outside, so it's maple on the middle, yeah. yeah. it's got a stripe down there. Uh, it's a spruce top on all of these as well. Um, I like you said, it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very classic... Yeah, uh, classic looking and playing guitar. Funny enough, this one has got flat rounds on it, so you're, you're immediately... It's immediately a different feeling guitar. Well, you, you be guitar. the tone. We are, we're sharing guitars and consequently uh, hand sanitizing all the way through here. So yeah, Pete, here will, Pete little... will take us through the tones. Let's start with the big one then. So, <laughs> so the, these are top of the tree, Japanese made. They're all going to cost around about the £2,000 mark. So again, they're, they're, you know, there absolutely are more affordable versions of these guitars in the Ibanez catalogue. Um, but yeah. this is creme them. de la creme. Yeah. 
Uh, beautiful hard cases, as Pete just showed you yeah, there. If you, if you um, want a top-notch guitar yeah. uh, that is not you know, a, yeah. a brand or Gibson or whatever. Anyway, uh, so we're trying to do this fast, as fast as we can do it, because we're trying to release like all of the Ibanez videos in one day. So yeah, I think there'll so. be 10 videos going live over the course of today. <laughs> uh, this probably won't be the first one, but hey, if, it, if you've only just seen it, go see what else is on the channel. Yeah, anyway, here's some clean tones from the neck pickup. I mean, it's just a, that sound is just That's so just, familiar, you know, you can yeah. dial down the tone on that and... Play with your thumb. You know, all of that so sort all, of stuff. All the, for me, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the vintage humbucker, I'm hearing the flat wound strings, and I'm hearing the hollow body with the floating tail pieces. It all it, comes together yeah. to make that classic, classic jazz tone. Um, and, uh, you know, admittedly, you know, there'll be some other more crazy jazz players, I'm sure, online playing this kind of stuff. Absolutely. That you'll be able to there, find out. But there's but, some new people as well. It's worth checking out. You know, they will be on the Ibanez website. Yeah. Of course, we'll place these guitars as well. Uh, but again, we need to get through these. We've got 10 of them to do. So um, middle position, both together. Nice tone, Even the knobs it? are nice. You got it's the rubberized kind of grips on the knobs. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, everything about these guitars are just quality. Quality. There's nothing on here that is out of place or anything that is like not mm. been looked through. I would through say and, the only you know. real design difference between these and looking at, 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 a, at an American sort of Nashville-made Gibson, or if, you, if it's older, like a Memphis-made one, yeah. is. Um, we don't believe these are nitro finished, uh, so these these will be a, a you know sort of more of a polyurethane yeah. kind of finish. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, it's just in terms of attention to deal and workmanship and stuff like that, it's, yeah. it's top of the range. Yeah. It's super top of the range. And if you're seeing a little bit of scratching here from the pick, there is actually a little piece of plastic that just pulls off oh, afterwards. Yes. We're being gentle. Yeah. So uh, gentle jazzes. Bridge, so, bridge pick bridge up. Pick up. Uses a, maybe Pat Metheny would use like the, the back pickup. Somebody got a toothbrush in here somewhere. Hasn't what? He? Yeah, he uses it. Something with a toothbrush. I can't remember what it is, but. This is a mild overdrive. I want to see what it does. Nice tone, isn't it? Just uh, here's the neck pickup with the with the revival drive. Anyway, we got enough guitars to go yes. through, so I'm going to so move on. Let's move over now to the AS2000. This is the semi-hollow one. Uh, same pickup, same woods, but now in terms of construction, this is a center block guitar. So if, if you're not kind of familiar with that, it's, it's uh, yeah, where Pete's fingers just were. That is a solid lump of wood going through the middle. So all the pickups are mounted onto a solid piece of wood, more like a Les Paul would be. <laughs> yeah, more Obviously suspense. the same bridge and tail piece that you'd get on a Les Paul, the same style of bridge and tail piece. Um, same neck profile. As this Threads. guitar, yeah, it's it's but the same. But that's now yeah, got round wound strings, right? Not flat wound. These are normal strings, yeah. Yeah, 
And we've got another switch, which we'll talk about in the middle, but, but let's leave it downwards for the minute, that switch. So that's- Backwards. Yep, yeah, so that is now just normal humbucker mode. Yeah, um, everything on full, again, the same, same thing. Different tone already. Here's the middle position. Very different, uh, even though it's the same pickups, and it? it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, wood doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Everything matters. <laughs> Everything. And here we go, all the way back. See, already there you got... Almost that um, yeah. Chuck Berry kind of tone. Uh, I want to play well, with my dingling. So, so this, this guitar, although it's kind of been presented as part of like a jazz series, you can do anything you like on that. You can still put a gain on. Yeah. <laughs> Really nice to play as well. Uh, middle position with a bit of gain. Neck position with a bit of gain. Okay. Oh, so let's talk about this funny little tri sound switch that it's got. Okay. So you'll notice that the AS2000 is the only one with an additional three way switch just above the uh, tone and volume controls here, the little black switch there. Try sound, okay, all the way down is, it's, it's all talking about the neck pickup. All the way down is a neck pickup wired in series. So just normal humbucking, wiring, fat, juicy humbucker. So series means essentially you've got two coils in there and the sound goes into one coil and out of that coil and into the other coil before it comes out of the output. So if you like sort of a double coil effect. Mm -hmm. In the middle position on here, it's a single coil effect. So you can so hear one coil, not two. So you'll hear a little bit of hum like a single coil. That's pretty easy to hear, that kind of difference. Yeah. Now the weird one, or not the weird one, the more subtle one is all the way up. It's now a parallel wiring. So still using both coils, but instead of one feeding into the other, it's both hearing the guitar simultaneously. So imagine almost like a um, Telecaster in its middle position, but ima imagine the two pickups literally being right next to each other as opposed to further apart. And so what we happens? Get, we get hum cancelling, which is kind of cool, but it doesn't sound drastically different. Yep, so pretty obvious hum cancelling, but it doesn't sound drastically different to the single coil on its own. But here we go. So that's the f f first position here, in the middle. It's, it's, it's marginally, marginally brighter yeah. on the single coil, the middle position, yeah. than it is on the neck position. But yeah. there you go. There you go. Three so that's it. cool sounds. Um, that's called tri sound. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're. They just see great. what they look like. They're very beautiful, aren't they? I like I like the mother of pearl and the abalone kind of the mix of the two um, the, the, I mean, the everything... two types of material on the inlay. Is it's it an all, ebony board? We said it was an ebony board, didn't we? Yes. It's very very pretty. Is it? So oh, it looks like it. Yeah. Yes. So let's last do the one. last one. Now the last one I kind oh. of find. Oh, right. I think that's kind of funky because yeah, a as you just saw from Pete's reaction, there, it's incredibly light yep. because it's completely hollow. Um, you've obviously now got this real mishmash here. So you've got a trapeze tailpiece with a normal um, sort of tunematic style bridge. We've got the two humbuckers on it with just, you know, there's no extra switches other than the, the three-way switch and your tone and volume controls. And I guess because it's completely hollow and it's got this, and it's got a sort of a floating tailpiece, if you like, this sort of trapeze style tailpiece, it's almost like it's a little bit of this and it's a little bit of that. And it's just, 
I think it's a great, and it's, I mean, it's wonderful to play because it's so compact, but yeah. let's have a little listen. Yeah, absolutely. So here we are, neck pick up again, tuner off. Oh, you can hear. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, you get that almost it's zing that overdrive from the floating. We, we talked yeah. about before. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of gain there. I love this. This is great, man. It might be my favourite one. Yeah, well, not, it's not really just good. The, that and that. And th this is kind of uh, well, maybe not my favourite, but the one that I can't think of another guitar that's quite like it. Yeah, you know that. So, so giving it that sort of, you know, it's always nice to just that's have great. something a bit new that's and great. different. Right, middle position. place there, Monday morning, uh, and the uh, bridge position. And a bit of gain. Great. Nice. Middle position. Neck position. Like, but anyway, I really like this just guitar. to finish really this nice. video off. Would you mind doing just like a I don't know a G and a little run on all three, just back to back, just Could do. maybe all on the neck pickup, just like a ten second thing, just so that we uh, can kind with of this, but normal. There's a little bit of drive on it. No, no just, drive, just no just pedals at clean. all. Just okay, just clean as clean can be. Okay, thank yeah. you very much for watching. Uh, please, if you're watching on the day of release, uh, jump on over, check the social media channels out. There's like an Ibanez social media takeover today. And if you're watching at some point in the future and you've missed that, don't worry. As I said, search. There's all the 2021 20, Ibanez releases are going live in one day from Anderton's. It's epic. Yeah. See you soon. So hit the notification bell to get the rest of the videos. Mm -hmm.